Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sujan Chess Points. Today we are at the next topic that is the end game study explained. We are at the 42nd position of our study. We have got a very interesting position based on the concept of petting net and semi scale net. This position is white to play and win. At first, the position looks bit tricky because white is unable to win with the move GH, KG7, the pawn is lost. Practically, we see that black is threatening at g6 now. So, the only move which is there is bishop at 6. But after bishop at 6 check, king g8 forced. If king moves to e8, then g8 to h7 and the pawn is able to queen. So, b8 6 check, king g8, and again we see that white is forced to play the move g7 because g8 7, k8 7 is again drawn. And after g7, we see that black can play the move king f7. Well, after ke5, black has got the move e6. And once the e pawn is given up, white will not be able to win the game. Let's see how. After bf6 check, kg8, g7, kf7 forced. If e5 is played, then white timely supports the g pawn and his bishop becomes free to capture the e pawn. So ke6, e4, kf6, e3 forced, bishop into e3 and then h pawn is able to move and white will win the game. So kf7 forced and here after ke5, e6, we see that there is no way for white to make any progress because after kd6, Black just plays e5. All black is trying to do is give up his e pawn, and once king takes the e pawn, there is no way to make progress because if the bishop moves, then g7 pawn is lost. And as soon as the king tries to support the g7 pawn to free his bishop, then the kf6 is a stalemate and the game is drawn. So, how should white win over there? White has a very interesting and the unexpected sacrifice after the moves bh6, kg8, g7, kf7 there comes g8 queen forcing the king to take the queen and force the king to the corner let's see how bishop h6 check kg8, g7, kf7, g8 queen check forcing the king to capture the queen and now comes ke6 it forces the black king to the corner and after king h8, white uses the concept of petting net and there is no way now, black has to play his e pawn, he is in a semi stalemate situation, after e5 comes bishop g7 checkmate. I found the position very interesting, I hope you will also like the position, do like, share and subscribe the channel, thanks for your time.